Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are jumping in again. Previously we played as one of the new dudes and I'm going to play as another one of the new dudes because I'm enjoying it. Um, I did put, put out the idea of doing like a streak as these guys but many of you basically said there isn't really enough going on so we're going to kind of do a streak of just modded characters for a little bit and just play a bunch of different modded characters. Because that could be fun. Because there's a few of them we haven't visited in a little while. And yeah. I need to get a thumbnail going for... Um, for Tainted... Sam... Sam... Samuel? At some point? Samuel? Samuel? Anyways, we're going to try the Keeper this time round. I have zero idea how this guy works. All I know is he can spawn shops. I don't know anything other than that. Um... His health is weird, and we start with a lot of firing a lot of shit fears. So, we can use turn over here to... Okay. Turn over spawn shops. Does that shop stay there, or does it disappear? Oh, wait. I think I spent my HP to do that. It looks like I spent my HP to do that. Okay. Pickups turned into coins. Okay, the shop does stay there. Interesting. All right. Um... Spawn to shop on the current for the current based on the current room's item pool. Okay, but there was no items in that shop, so I think I think you can upgrade the shops, maybe? I swear I remember someone telling me something about that. That you can upgrade shops. So we're gonna try that out as well. Okay, we're not gonna be able to get that coin. That's fine. So it seems like pickups also turned into coins too, which is interesting. <clears throat> This guy seems pretty fun. I like the idea behind this guy. Right, give me those pennies. And you as well. Hey, guys, come on. Thank you. Now, I do wonder if we get the normal greedier shops. The normal uh, shops that uh, Tainted Greed gets. Okay, I just want to try something. Okay. We gained another type of health here. We gained, like, another coin type there. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Can I upgrade this? Okay, I can upgrade this. How much did that cost? Okay, so we finally have something. All locked dolls will spawn as unlocked cursed dolls. That seems risky. Okay, so I think it cost me six coins, maybe? Was it six coins to upgrade a shop there? I don't know if it changes between. So far, it's costing a lot to see items, which is concerning. Um, I don't know if this is the way that I want to be playing this character or not. Honestly, I'm really unsure. O also, I have no idea if I can take the, um, the item from the item room here. I would imagine so, but I I'm honestly not sure. Why can this guy burn himself? That's so strange. So I'm going to have to buy all my pickups from the shops I generate. Okay, I do get an item here. Okay, no, I don't. Damn it. It just turns into money. But now we've got quite a lot of money, so maybe upgrading to a shop is a little more viable here. Can I take pills? No, I can't. I'm guessing the only way I can get stuff like that is from buying them from the shops I generate. Now, what's an efficient way to generate shops? And also, what's this little six in the top left here? Um, still no items. Okay, this is a max upgraded shop, apparently. Can I, like, bomb you two to get some stuff? Oh, you, you take more than one bomb. Interesting. So, I guess we'll buy this and this. Interesting. Um, hmm. I didn't get an item there, which I'm curious as to how I get items as this guy. Maybe I have to, like, get them from the shop specifically? I, I, I really don't know. It's a little unclear. Damn it, missed out on that coin because I'm stupid. Lust is fine. We'll leave that. <clears throat> Okay, so we do have an item here. I still don't know what the Rotting, rotting Humble and Bundle does, but I'm going to buy it anyway. So we can buy items from the shop as normal. That's good to know. Um, although that increased that number at the top left. Speed down spawns a golden penny as the keeper instead. Okay, that doesn't even work for us right now. Okay. And we get this fortified health thing here going on. I'm not exactly sure what that means for us. Do not like you moving around like the speed of sound. Could you stop? Thank you. Okay. Apparently that just ended the room, which I was not ready for. As for the question of the day, what's the most money you've spent on something that you had literally no reason in buying? Mine was probably Battlefront 2042. <laughs> Game was a dog shit. It's a, it's a lot better now, but it was really bad when I bought it. I shouldn't have bought it when I did. Okay. 
<clears throat> um, also bought a um, dehumidifier recently, which I did kind of need, but it was like £120 for something that I didn't need th at that very moment. It's quite a lot of money for something that really I could have done without buying. Also, a lot of the kitchen gadgets I have, they all just save me time, but a lot of them are quite expensive. Yeah, I don't like your little child coming at me at the speed of sound here. Hidden teleporting is the worst thing, because uh, he can kind of telefrag you if you get unlucky. Most of the time he doesn't, but he can. Like that. Okay, so we know what happens when we get hit. God damn it, as if he telefragged me, you bitch. Even unlocked. Thank you. Now, is it worth creating a shop in here? Okay, we did get a boss item here. Good. Okay, so that's how we get some items. Also, what on earth is... What's this little thing below my feet? Confusion. Anyways, to the next floor. Okay, this guy's interesting. It's going to take me a little bit to figure him out. I'm guessing secret room shops are going to be quite important to us. So we want to try and get those going. I will go in here because we get some money for it. Sadly, that was a bit of a waste because we're going to need a hell of a lot more keys this floor to make that work. And the only way we can get keys is by spawning shops. Oh, God. Oh, I had like a Midas touch effect there. That's kind of nice. That's bombs, not keys, game. That's keys. Oh, you fucking bought the pill. I don't want to buy the pill. You shit. Now, if I buy that, buy out the shop, does it restock it? That's a question I have. Like, if I buy this and then upgrade the shop, how does that work? Also, I've put myself down to zero HP here, which is probably never a good idea. Oh, God. I've literally gotten myself completely stuck. <clears throat> right. Back over here, buy another key. Don't like this room at all. I'm not going to be able to get any of this money. I'm going to beeline it for the fucking... Oh, god damn it. I tried. Another key there, lovely. Oh, wait. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm, I'm constantly going to forget that's a thing. Okay, I'm probably going to miss out on a lot of the money here, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Bad hit. At least I might just touch that guy. Get some of it back. Oh, I, got, I lost a lot of money when I did that, when I got hit there. Wow, you lose a lot of money when you get hit. Okay, that is good to know. I'm... So for one, I had literally no idea what Rotting Humbling Bundle does. It doesn't seem to do anything. So that's good. Um, but yeah, this guy's going to be tough as shit, I think. This guy's going to be very tough. I think just getting items is going to be a real struggle for this dude. Right, so first key I'm going to use on the actual shop to see if I can get some items that generate more money for me. Probably a few we can get that really make a difference for us, so let's try that out. Compass is honestly really, really good. I'm just going to take that. Puts us down to zero HP though. Do not like that. Need to remember to try and keep myself with a bit of a buffer going. That's pretty good. Okay. That's nice. Okay, back up to try and find the item room now. Yeah, I don't know if I want to upgrade that shop anymore or not. I have no idea what's the sort of best idea. Oh, I do not like... That was some fat... Stinky cat dookie. Why? Dude, these chasey buggers, fuck off. Get out of my face. Too much was going on there for me to handle. Also, I lost all my money again. Basically, if you want to succeed as this character, you cannot get hit. Like, at all. You just There's no lenience for getting hit. You lose so much money when you get hit. Also, the pennies disappear pretty fast. Right, check what this is. But it's just money, I know that, but... 
I wonder if the quality alludes to how much money you get. Decent. Right. Now what? So, test, test case one here is I'm going to go back and upgrade this shop. Okay, that did work. I'm going to gamble here and see if I can get more money back than I put into this. It's, it's a big gamble. That one works out very well. The, okay, this worked, This was this was a very good call. I might even try and do that again if I can, because that was a very good idea. Good, good. Two more keys. Okay. Right, now, do I want to keep upgrading this shop? It's just not very good, is it? I'll buy that. Bomb you. How many times do I have to bomb you? Only twice, okay. I don't want to buy the trinket, but I do want the penny. Um, Do I try and create a secret room shop? Or do I just go for the boss? See if there's a secret room first. It's not, okay. Is it here, maybe? It is. Okay. Well, that seemed to cost a lot more to upgrade. Oh, wait, is the little ticket thing how much it costs to upgrade a shop in the top left? It looks like it might be. So secret room shops are going to be hard because they're 15 each time. A lot more than I expected. Get out of here, you. Bollocks, you shit. Oh, for goddamn hate this boss. Didn't even get that coin, goddammit. You're not going to even give me 15 cent, are you? You bastard. Okay, this this gave me quite a lot. But I'm going to spend all my money just upgrading it. How do devil deals work? Okay, devil deals just cost money. Kind of expected that. Okay, I'm going to gamble on the secret room and see if it works out. So it costs 10 in here, 6 in here... 15 in the secret room, but the problem is the secret, like, the upgrades just don't give you items, like, ever. <laughs> oh, for fuck, I clearly didn't want to purchase that, go away, right, I'm gonna bomb my donation machine, because that's pissed me off. Clearly didn't want to buy that, god damn it. Right. Okay, we did get an item. It's unfortunately a terrible one, and we don't have enough to buy it. So that's worked out real well. Um, I mean, I guess I'll buy it. Doesn't seem very useful. Okay. So far... Eh. This character is eh. I, I, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of the upgrading shop thing. It seems a little bit too hard to maintain. Like, you have to put so much money into a shop to even get an item. Like, you get a single item, and that item might be crap. And then you still have to buy the item. Missed out on that off oh, of fuck's sake. Well, the luck, the luck helped there, at least. That's good. So, like, do I want to be turning down in a room like this? Like, early as possible. I just don't know. Like, what, what, like what's the biggest value in doing a turn down? Dude, this guy's got so much health. What the hell? I keep turning this one down. Maybe you just can't get items from these? Because it very much seems that way. Hello, what are you? 
What the fuck? What happened there? <laughs> Turn him into gold. Oh, fuck. Keep getting hit. You keep summoning stuff that keeps giving me pennies, so... Okay, you've stopped now. Oh, wait, no. There you go. Okay, now you've stopped. I don't really know why these things are familiar. That's that's confusing. Dude, I'm getting hit so much. Nah, this ain't it for me. I thought this character was gonna be like real fun, but he's very, very, very slow. Like, everything's just here. It, like, building a run. I'm on the third floor and I have three items. It's like, come on now. Also, this is a very, very, very rough room right here because of that blue guy that I can't hit right now. There you go. <sighs> I just can't stop getting hit. Because you need the money so bad, you have to kind of run in and grab it, but... You get hit so often doing that. Dude, you just summoned that guy on me. Why? I don't know. It's just maybe I'm missing. I feel like I must be missing something pretty huge with this guy. Like, I feel like there must be some mat. Oh, for fuck's sake. There must be something massive that I'm, like, not getting. Oh, dude, I just can't get to the goddamn money. Room's ridiculous. You're summoning too many bees, motherfuckers. I can barely get to you. Dude, what the hell? Room's a fat load of horse shit. Room was ridiculous. Like, do I want to spawn stuff in this room, maybe? I get sissy? It's just... Ugh. Spawn them in item room seems better, at least. We get items that way. Okay, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm cutting it here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to restart. I'm going to try something different. This room's dog shit. I'm trying something new. All right, one moment. Right. I'm going to exclusively use turndown in the item rooms to start with and see how that goes. Knockout drops is good. Accidentally fucking bought that though. Okay. That's that. I think that might be the thing I've been missing. Using it in item rooms seems significantly better for getting items. That I think is the missing, the missing link here. I think that is my thing that I just didn't understand. It's good to know. Ah, you bastard. Oh my god. Thank you. You're going to give us a good amount of money. So we take knockout drops. First of all, let's just check the secret room. Good, good. Let's do a turn down in here. We can play with that later. Right, buy knockout drops. I love the way we look with that. Okay. Getting money is just really hard from some of these enemies. Oh, for God's sake. Knockout drops isn't actually great now, now that I'm thinking about it. Because we're pushing enemies away. And then killing them miles away from us. So it's really hard to get the money. Oh, for... Why? Ugh. I'm, I'm getting hit so much. And it's just like the worst character to be getting hit a lot as. And I just can't help myself but get hit a thousand times. It's very annoying. Uh, 
Okay. Right, we got a good amount of stuff here. Go back over. Do the shop again. <laughs> Bonk me straight out of the room. This costs 10 now. Now it costs 15. Why did one of those pennies disappear? I need more speed. Our speed is like cu basically cutting off the amount of money we can get right now. It's very problematic for us. Oh, come on now. Right, good, good. Oh, there's more enemies in this room? Is there another hand over here? God damn it. God damn hands. Right, check the shop out. See if there's anything crazy going on in there. That doesn't help us, I don't think. Right. Quickly just grab this coin up here. Pretty slow first floor, I realise, but I think this is the better way to play this guy. I think I was missing something the first time around. I think I found that. Dude, this mushroom. Stop. Right, so now I turn over again, and I do get an item this time, and I accidentally buy the two of spades. Oh my goodness. I'll give that a go. Yeah. That's really peeing me off. <laughs> I keep accidentally buying shit. Because it like spawns it right in your face. If I can't afford it now, I'd be so pissed off. Should be fine though. Good. Give me those mushroom tears. It's a very slow first floor, I realise that. Four minutes in the first long, we've not even fought the boss yet. Dude! Mushroom? Get away from me! Devil's Tooth. Okay. I like the idea of Devil's Tooth. We can upgrade enemies, but it halves their HP. Seems intriguing to me. Also, just more tier effects is cool. Really, it championified, championified these two? Dudes. Please. Okay, give me the penny. Just getting hit way more than I have any reason to ever get hit. Frustrating me. We get Pageant Boy, which will actually drop money for us, which is intriguing. And then this costs 10. We have 12 left, so we're not going to bother on this bit. Okay, go down. Okay, starting to, starting to pick it up a little bit now. Main problem right now is just getting hit too much and not being able to pick up the coins fast enough. That guy split into two fucking nickels, what the hell? Need that. There you go, got it. So much money this time round. Okay, things are going way better just because the types of coins that are dropping are just way better than last time. Holy hell. Go in here, collect our coin. Turn over, it's going to give us gold flakes, which I think is good for us right now. No, not really. We do get a golden pill out of it. Let's use this first, though. And then we get sad bombs and the leech by both of those, I think. And we get... Okay. This has, this has gone a lot better. See, this down isn't good. Telepills is annoying, but mostly fine. Okay. 
Okay, I don't know where I am anymore because I'm amnesia. Get out of here, you. T is down again. Okay, the T is downs are real bad. I'm hoping eventually we had a T is up, but nope. That was like all bad from that pill. Just all bad. Good, good. Holy shit, so much money from that. Wow. Where are we now? This is back to the item room. How much does it cost to upgrade the item room again? We don't know. We can't afford it. Either we can't afford it or it won't let us do it. We'll leave those for now. Sloth. Decent enough. Some enemies drop like loads for some reason. I think it's something to do with the mushroom shots. Last D4, I'm fine, thanks. Right, very, very not happy with my tier rate right now, so I'm hoping I can get some fire rate ups. Try and figure out where the hell we're going now. This way, I think. This is at least the way we haven't been before, so that's good. Fire's in my way. Knockout drops is both good and bad. It's keeping enemies at bay, but it is slightly annoying that it's uh, pushing enemies so far away from us that we can't catch up sometimes. Oh, that hit me? I did not realize that those poison things ever did damage to me. That is never something I've realized. Right, how does this work out? Okay, so that's something I definitely want. And then turn over. Doesn't do anything for us. It's going to cost us 15 to turn over again. And we'd need a penny to buy anything. So not a great idea right now. Nope. We use it in here and we get oddly smooth stone. I'll take that. Right, let's go. Things are going a lot better. A lot, lot better. I understand now. I finally understand. Doesn't mean I'm going to do well, but I at least understand. Missing out on quite a lot of coinage here, but... Right, I'm going to wait for these guys to get a bit further over before we kill them. Oh, for fuck's sake, I got hit anyways. Doesn't matter, I lost all my money. I didn't, I didn't touch that pill back there, one sec. I forgot that if you touch the pill, it just turns to money. Good, good, good. This is our shop, we don't care about the shop right now. Oh baby, the item room is all that we need. He is unfortunately not something we're going to be able to take a look at right now. Invincible flies, no thank you. You, no thank you. Back to the swift, the item room. Yeah, figuring this guy out has been a bit interesting. He's he's peculiar. I, I still don't know if he's my favourite. He seems like a lot. there's a lot of work that goes into playing this guy. <laughs> Oh, damn crab boy. There's our item room. Good, good. Champions dropped two coins, which is still good. Same as the other guy. Oh, for fuck. Why did I have to get hit there? I never expect these guys to, like, hit you. So when they do, it's always like, oh, really? Come on now.
Okay, turnover. Ooh, yes. That is a very, very good item. More tier effects is just fun. I'm liking that a lot. Unfortunately, we get a lot of money here we can't get to, so I'm going to bomb this to try and get some of it, but every enemy died before I could grab any of it anyways. Okay, now I actually got, good, got a decent amount there. Um... That's pretty good. The fire delay is really nice. We'll try and take that. Um, we just got to go and get some more coinage. But yeah, three unique tier effects now coming out of us. I like that. Look up, Red. No. How could you, game? Also, a frog enemy that I can't get the coin from. How could you, game? Dude, fire it so slow I can't, I can't even, oh we don't have the keys to get through here, uh, I thought I had the keys to um, check this out but I don't, I'd have to create a turn down room and a normal room to do that which I honestly aren't really willing to do right now because my money is very useful for other things. So annoying when the coin just fucking like hops a million miles away from you, it's like come back, how could you? Right. We want to be full clearing here. I, I realize that the more I full clear, the higher the chances of me getting hit and losing the money I've gained. But I'm taking that gamble. Nah. Nah. Not worth. Right. Back this way. Go get um, con conjunctivitis, I think it was. Yes, it was. Good, good. Oh, wait, what? Minus one tier delay. That didn't, that didn't work, sadly. That's not great. Right. Away we go. Away we go. Let's see if we can make something work here. Hopefully this boss isn't too bad. We do have um, cry bombs if we want to use them. Okay, the slowing creep. Doing good good work. Didn't even need my cry bombs. Oh, I walked right into the fucking tier because it was moving at like one mile an hour. Why game? That was so evil. I was going to use our fucking thing in this room as well, but... Ah! I hate getting hit as this character. It makes me want to fucking kill myself. So we are going to have to use turn down in a regular room here um, in order to get some keys. Good. This guy's going to spawn a few spiders. It's going to all give us money. So let's wait this out a little bit. Good, good, good. No, thank you. Golden penny. I had to try for it. I probably lost a lot of money in doing that, but I had to go for it. Once you've picked them up, they stick around. Didn't think they'd be unlocked, but happy they are. Fire mind with the disappearing act. Infestation 2. Why is Infestation 2 only quality 3 now? When did that happen? Get away from me, troll bomb. Don't want none of your bad juju. Oh, I can't open that shit. Investigation 2 is going to be mighty good for us. 
The only problem with it is it might end up killing enemies in positions where we're not ready to pick up the coin. Which is going to cause some issues. Oh wait, if I don't pick up the coins they disappear. Good to know. Oh! I didn't... I wasn't ready for the creep, you fuck. Why my coin jump backwards? Jump forward towards me. Come on. Don't be a dick. Right. Let's see if this, this has got anything good going on. No. <laughs> no is the answer to that. I mean, two spooky's pretty good, but I'm going to say no. It's annoying when there's four items available for purchase and none of them are worth grabbing. Just disappointment incarnate, that is. Right, we've got a few rooms left here, so let's uh, do a turn down on this and see what we get. Both just awful. I need that so bad. Thank you. And that, and that. For fuck! There was a gap in the way that got, got, got stuck on. God damn it. This game's savage. And this is a room full of enemies that I can't even get the coins of, even if I wanted to. Okay, we are leaving. I'll, I'll throw down a boss room and turn over, because I should be able to buy one item from that. Not ideal, though. Not worth grabbing. Should have bought the key, really. Oh, well. On the next floor now. Lord, that's not good for me. We do pretty good damage, I'll say that for sure. Yeah, the biggest thing I want right now is a speed upgrade. A damn speed is, get, is losing us so much money. Like, look at all that money that I just lost things. I just couldn't get there in time. Right, sh please item room present yourself to me quickly. Before I start getting hit loads. Another room that's just going to be impossible for me to grab the pennies in. Yep. Good, good. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, my speed. It's just horrible. Give me some speed game. Just feels so rough. So where the hell's that item room at? Don't care about that penny. That one. These enemies are annoying the hell out of me. Missed that nickel again. Oh, god damn. Just so horrible. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Cheeky bugger. Item room, finally. Look, Penny. Oh, it's like I literally ju I'm just too slow for everything. That's good. Snail is fun. And Tech X is pretty good. Although, I kind of want to take Snake. Snake's more fun. I don't want to take Tech X, actually. It'll ruin things. Oh, look at that little snake of our tears. Yeah, I like I like the snake. The snake's fun. 
The snake's got something going on. It's got that it factor. Okay, I got hit there by what exactly? Was that some creep, maybe? That might have been some creep that I just didn't see. At least I regained most of that. At least we got our snail as well. Gotta love him. <laughs> it's a snake of fists. Kind of love that. It's kind of beautiful. A snake of fists. Well, hello you. Wasn't expecting you. Luckily, I didn't need to expect you because you're dead. These spikes aren't going to come up, are they? Okay, good. Ugh. Speed up. Need it. Right. That was actually a pill I can take as well. Right, good to go. That snake is such a cool item. I love it. Just like traipses around the room, adopting my tear effects, hitting things. It's awesome. Go, snail. Go, whoa, whoa, sweet snail of mine. I don't know, can my, um, can my. Uh, let's do turn over in here and get a key. Can my snake trigger my snail? Which is a sentence I never thought I'd hear myself say, but I've said it now. Like, can, can the snake that flies around trigger the snail? Like, bouncing around? I kind of need to find out. It can. Okay, good. That's amazing. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Good, good, good. Also, this is amazing. I'll take that too. I just want to see what my uh, tainted item is. We don't know. So, it's... I'm hoping it's sad bombs. But it could also be Cricket's head. Let's find out though, shall we? Please be sad bombs. Sad bombs is really fun. Damn it! I don't know what that- I don't even know what that replaced. It wasn't Cricket's head, it wasn't sad bombs. Does anyone else know what that replaced? Oh, knockout drops. It, it was knockout drops. Which is actually fine by me, to be honest. I think these cracked keys can actually be picked up, which is good. Rotten tomato, good stuff. Okay, I think it turns them into poops. Okay, things are going crazy. Like, rooms are just clearing themselves right now. <laughs> I've not seen, found a single place to use my red key yet either, which is annoying. Jawbreak is good, but we've already got tough love, so it doesn't make a difference. Dude, there's literally not a single place he's my red key. How? This is strange. Oh, shitting hell. Get off me, bomb. Get off me. Good. Don't think I care about any of that. 
Literally not a single player to use my red key. Wait, was there anywhere in the shop I could use it, actually? I didn't check about that. Can't even use it in the shop. What's going on here? Something's broken with it, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it. I can't be asked. Hello, Mother Dearest. The bruising does you well. Holy sugar tits, that's a lot of money. Take the 31, Lusty Blood, very nice. Can we get a penny out of one of these so I can buy something else? So far, not so good. Damn it. No penny for us. Right, let's go. This run has become something quite unique. <laughs> so many tier effects going on. Okay, finally we can actually use it here. Doesn't matter though, we got the, the trigger anyway, so we didn't need to. This trinket is so unbelievably good for us right now. There's another bunch of red rooms unlocked. So you can drop a cracked key or just unlock red rooms for us. Whenever we pick up money, that is. Okay, good. Come through here. Cracked key into here. Another sack room? Really? What the hell is this enemy? Do not like it. That seems to kill it. Efficiently, at least. Things are just dying so fast, isn't it? It's kind of crazy. Try and look for a secret room, I guess. There's crack keys everywhere right now. Oh, I do not I do not like you moving, sir. You've, you've got me into a bit of a predicament here. Thank you, spiders. Thank you, Snake, for getting in there and doing that. Automatically opening the doors for us there is rather nice as well. Holy shit. Dude, oh, stop moving. Come on. Golden penny. I guess at this point we should just see what we get. Unfortunately, nothing good. I should try and buy some, uh, some bombs if I get the opportunity. Dude, as if I got hit there. Come on now. I do not like these enemies. These enemies are weird. Really hard to hit. There was a bomb there. Good, we'll buy that. More bombs there. We'll get that going. Thank you. Right, keep it going, keep it moving. Oh, I dropped my trinket by accident, because fucking double tapping. Apparently Fiend Folio adds this, where if you double tap, it just drops them. I despise that. I wish there was a way to remove that. Do not like it at all. I often double tap by accident. I don't want, I don't want that happening. What on earth is going on in this room? Got soap box, I think that is. Okay. Oh, 
A lot of shenanigans going down here. And a library. More cracked keys. Opened up all of these rooms now. But we found it. Not that we really need it, but we found it. All the... Oh, I fucking got hit. What the fuck hit me? I'm getting so confused about things that are hitting me right now. I didn't see that. Uh, whatever it was, I didn't see it at all. Red chain. We could just go on an absolute red room exploration adventure. Oh, it's one of these for it's that item that spawns the, the pillars. We need keys to unlock it though, which I'll be honest. Actually I do I do have keys, okay. Just take me to a random red room, but to be fair, I've got plenty of red rooms to explore myself, to be honest. I've just realized I'm supposed to be finished with this recording in exactly two minutes. I gave myself an hour and run has gone on a little bit longer. Well, it's it's only fifty-one minutes, but like I had to set up the recording and stuff. Booting the game takes a while nowadays. Here I am, still exploring. Maybe I should give this up a little bit. Okay, I can't turn over this room anymore anyways. Okay, back to the regular path. Oh, god damn it, I got hit twice. So many cracked keys. What a broken trinket. Okay, up this way now. Like, do I even re really need to be picking up money at this point? I guess just, just for HP, but... For buying stuff, I'm probably okay. I probably don't need to buy much more. I'll probably just let the snake take out most rooms. Seems to be doing a good job. That kidney stone. Good, good. A devil deal that is behind him. That's a brother of some sort of thing. Don't know what that is. Black Moon, I'll take it. Let's go. Okay. One second. Right, let's keep this going. Check out what's going on in here. Just a bunch of money and red doors for us. Hopefully we can just get the free open of everything in a moment. No? Unlucky? Oh, this is the Black Moon, I see. I like Black Moon, it's good. What room is this? Is this- oh, that's the exit the floor, I think. I think that's an error room. Pretty sure that's an error room. Don't want to go through that quite yet. Would have loved to have got more red room items, but I don't want to be on that floor forever. Seemed like a bit pointless. Oh my god. I always forget that enemy does that. I get hit by it a lot. But yeah, this character is definitely, uh, definitely come out on top compared to what I initially thought about the character. Getting items is actually a lot easier than with other characters, contrary to what I initially thought, so it's good that I did a do-over. Oh god. 
Got hit there, whoopsie. So many cracked keys. Unfortunately, I went the wrong way here. Do you know what? I'm just going to open this up and go through the portal and see where it takes me. It might just... Yeah, I'm going to say take me to like the other side of the floor or something. How do I only have one luck? Now I got hit again. I don't know how this guy would work with with their, this setup. Oh, there's another enemy in here. Red. Adds an extra ultra secret room to each floor. That sounds fun. Cracked key. Cracked key. I'm going to try and gamble on this that room a little bit if I can. I just need to get a lot more money and at the minute I haven't been doing a great job of that. Keep walking on goddamn creep that I can't fucking see. There's a lot of creep that I can't see. I'm blind to it all. Okay. Back through here. Oop, hello. Into the boss room for free. I like it. Oh, it doesn't even trigger the room. Nice. Well, that worked out for us. Finding these pillars a lot as well. Not that we need them, but... Nice to have them around, I guess. Fettered heart is good stuff. Um, Cancer trinket is really good, but not for us. Lit Unfortunately, we got a bad lot there. A pretty bad lot. Not super happy with the, the stuff that we got out of that. It is what it is, though. Next floor has two ultra secret rooms, which I like the idea of. I love the way that the item's just called red as well. Ah! Golden bombs. Oh, wait. Golden bombs just drops money, of course. Oh, I keep forgetting the money disappears if you leave the room. The only thing about the snail is it blocks your shots. So a lot of the time I'm losing potential damage because it's blocking my shots. Oh, really? I gambled there and pro proper forced myself in there, knowing I'd take damage to grab the golden penny, and I missed it. Check out this mini boss room as well. Another Krampus one, why? Wonder why that's a thing. Um. Get away from me. Do I want to use turnover in this room? I think I do. That should be a damage up. Yeah, pretty big one too. Fortunately, nothing great there. Right, let's get back on the path. Let's go for the boss. Mom's heart, here we come. Safe to say we aren't doing any of the timed challenges this time around. And we will go down. Try and beat Mega Satan. Oh, well, Satan and the Lamb. Not Mega Satan. We start off our journey here. Oh, well, there we go. There's one ultra secret room. Nice. Need a lot more money to make this work, though. Come on, ghosties. Show yourself off. Where art thou? This character has been, yeah, a real joy to play as, actually. Don't know what this is, but I'll buy it. Hellfire. Can't remember what Hellfire does. Oh, that's Hellfire. Hellfire is very, very good. Enemies are like chain reacting to brimstones. It's 
It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Don't know what either of those two are either. But yeah, basically enemies sometimes don't die and instead just tend into like this brimstone fueled nightmare. It's pretty awesome. There you go. And they start chain reacting and just destroying everything in their path. Really is quite beautiful. Quite a sight to behold. Does make the room very confusing, I will admit that. Apparently I get hit as well as well. Lovely. Oh, it's you, god damn it. Need to be not getting hit anywhere near as much as I am. Oh for fuck. I, I might die against this guy. I am very, very bad at knowing how to dodge this boss. I need that penny. Okay, now we're good. You didn't even drop me any money, you cheapskate. Off he goes! More red rooms coming in. Cracked key there. Cracked key there. A few more red rooms. You know how it be. One there as well, why not? <clears throat> That, that guy needs to go first because he's very annoying. Oh god, that guy telefragged me. I lost so much money again. Fuck! I get hit so much. I hate it. I'm so bad at this game sometimes. That's so much money. So much to live for. Okay, Golden Penny. Good, good, good. Take us on a wild ride, Golden Penny. Take us on a wild ride. Okay, good. Back up this way. Over to the ultra secret room in which we'll buy both of these. Premature Detonation and Siren's Call. I like both. The Mark. What looks to be Yum Heart there as well. Probably going to need to find the second Ultra Secret Room now. Okay, basically all of the floor we've explored so far is just red rooms. up, why not? Don't throw spiders on me, please. God damn it, getting hit a lot again. Oh my god, getting hit a lot and a lot. Because, uh Hellfire is kind of bullshit sometimes. It was keeping those enemies alive, and that was subsequently causing me to take contact damage on them, even though they were technically already dead. So, it'd be nice if once they, once they started flashing... It stopped them being able to deal contact damage. Because that was a little annoying. Yeah. Oh, it's a curse room? God damn it. Ah, oh, we got the, the actual version of this boss now. 
Don't do your goddamn laser bullshit. I can't deal with the laser bullshit. Fuck. I just... I'm so bad at dodging that attack. It's super easy to dodge as well. I just... My brain can't comprehend. It's not even that hard. Oh, God. Oh, no. That's a lot of money. Too bad there's a bunch of fucking tears lingering about that won't go away. What a waste. Kingpin, you even waste time in this situation. Kingpin, you're, you're awful. I'd like to have a chat with whoever made Kingpin. See if they're okay. It seems like they could, they could use a friend. Cracked open these doors. Cracked. Take you out as well. Oh my god, this is just endless. If we had keys as well, this would be even more mental. This enemy below the ground is dead. Refuses to die. Not allowed to do that. Not allowed to refuse to die. Oh my god. Through here we go. I got hit again. Just, there's so many lasers on screen, I'm so unaware of when and what the fuck is hitting me. These guys do actually fire lasers, so I actually have to get out of the way here. Regards to the fact that they look identical to my lasers, but there you go. Okay. And where that second ultra secret room is. Got hit again. Oh, hello. It's just a, an enemy that's teleported directly on top of me and won't die. That is, honestly, that is not, I'm, I'm not liking that at all. Hellfire is uh, screwing me over. Also, it's very confusing on floors where enemies do have brimstone attacks. More crack keys. <laughs> it just keeps going. It's endless. The golden penny there I missed, sadly. It's okay, though, it doesn't matter. We got the trigger. These underground fucks. by accident. Bollocks. Didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna teleport out. Didn't mean to do that. Um, 3.100.1. I can't remember what it is now. 500.1. I can't remember what it is now. Uh, maybe if I go up. That's it. Oh, wait. Hmm. <laughs> um... Do it that way. Easier. I know it's cheating. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. This runs only for fun anyways. Right, 
Take me back. Take me back to my Red Room shenanigans. <laughs> Kill one enemy, it just clears the entire room. It's absurd. Look at these shenanigans. Turn down on these rooms is pretty worthless, unfortunately. Doubles the number of coins. Uh, not that we can get that anyways. At least we know we found the edge now. Ow. I have so many familiars that I've spawned. Right, so below is the edge. Anywhere below is the edge. Good, good. Don't throw your firebombs at me, miscreant. One trigger. Damn it. No door openings for us. Ow. Okay, there you go. We got the door opening triggered there. Error roomed again. God damn it. I don't know how to like know if it's an error room. I think it's like if the if it, if the room doesn't show up on the mini map, it's an error room or something like that. I can't remember. It's something along those lines. I don't exactly know. But I want to be able to kill Satan here, so. Maybe I should just go do that now and then come back and then use the error rooms. And if I error room back, then it's fine. Oh, I don't have a key. What am I trying to? I'm trying to enter this room without the key. That's another error room there, lovely. Another red room, should I say? Just keeps going. <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh my god, it just keeps going. On earth are these little fellas? It just keeps going! Holy shit. Also, like, I feel like I'm near invincible right now. So, th okay, so this room here didn't show up on the minimap, look, so that's an error room. I think that's how that works. Brimstone enemy that turns into Brimstone upon killing it because of the item I have. Confusion! We seem to have filled out quite a lot of the map here. Don't like this underground enemy. He gets me all the time. Right. Grab a cracked key. Make our way back up this way. No crack key again, damn. Unlucky this time. Go back over this way. 
This has really uh, been quite something, hasn't it? <laughs> this has really been quite something. Bought a key by accident. I think it's fine. Room here I never entered. <clears throat> oh look, a free entry. It's it's when it triggers the free entry. Because it opens all the doors. It's just obscene how good that is. Ah, that was an enemy brimstone beam. How the hell am I to know? <laughs> I keep hitting enemies with these poops. Push them all over the place. Opened up all the doors again. Oh my goodness. So many crap keys in this room too. Confusion. More cracked keys. You must be nearing the top of the level for, uh, soon. <laughs> this is just obscene. Another crack key. An item room. Somewhere to spend my money. Okay. But we've reached the top of the level now. Now it's all about the sideways, baby. Shit. So much more money. So many more cracked keys. I can't go this way. Okay, right. Back this way. Back this way. Here. Okay, picking up the berry does some strange things. Like, watch, if I pick up this berry, it just explodes into a ton of money. Gotta say, I don't mind that. Oh, do we have an infinite money generator? We do. Okay, that's pretty... Pretty nutty. More options, or whatever it's called. Basically, if I pick up this, it spawns more coins, and there's a chance that it spawns another one of those boxes, which spawns more coins. Which spawns another one of those boxes, which spawns more coins. You see? We have kind of infinite money now, which is pretty ludicrous. There's just too much going on, isn't there? There's only potentially infinite money. Doesn't always work, but... Works most of the time. Should have tried and trigger this red room by picking up these coins. Sadly, it did not work. Die, fool. Okay. Still haven't found the second red room, by the way. Just just, just to let you know, there's still a red room out there somewhere. Let's go fight the boss and then finish the rest of this floor. And by finish the rest of this floor, I mean create all of the remaining red rooms we have available. Get 
This guy triple split. It's okay though. They all brimstone eventually. <laughs> You've been bested, good sir. And the boxes stick around too. That's another thing, the boxes don't disappear. It's a way to generate extra HP and healing. Bye, bitch. We on a roll, baby. The thing about infinite money is it means infinite ways to open up red rooms. Like that. Regular secret room? Hello? Damn it, I accidentally picked up the wrong thing and plugged that one. See? If that's a fake room up there. I barely goddamn flew away. Oh god, this episode's so long. <laughs> it's fine. Having fun. Right, now picking up all of these should be able to open up the door. Getting a little bit unlucky though so far. Oh, very unlucky so far. Cracked. Hello, raggedy fellas. How dare you hit me? And that one it opens them straight away. Oh, we opened up a shop over there as well. I didn't realise that. <laughs> Sometimes it just does not want to open the doors, does it? I mean, we're generating cracked keys regardless. There you go, opened them that time. Check out the shop. We could do this. We could probably do some donating. Um, let's see where it. Oh, we might as well just donate until it gems. There you go. Why not? Bit of generosity. Come on, Brimstone. You don't have to keep going when the combat's over, do you? You don't have to do that. Yeah, no need for me to get hit there, but it has happened. <laughs> this is just so ludicrous. Keys. I'd rather it just open the rooms kind of opens multiple at once. Ow. Fuck you. Goddamn hate these enemies. Creating goddamn holes in my floor. There you go. Stone ghosts. God damn, this just keeps going, doesn't it? Holy. Okay, we're finally, we finally reached the edge. We 
finally reached the edge. Oh god, I did not see that blue block there. Get out of my face. Okay, how low can we go this one? We can go a bit lower. Good, good. The box has stayed around. Oh my god, that box was insane. I'm trying to collect enough HP here to... Enough coins here to get my HP up. Basically, so I can keep getting hit and not worry about it. You can keep going down. It's just so fun that the, the berry is the enabler here. The berry is like the way to get the initial money to start this whole train. Keep going down. Okay. This is where we have to use a cracked key. Not holding a cracked key is kind of not great because then we can't see whether the next rooms are available to be opened. Hellfire. We got a planetarium here. So I think we're at the bottom of the map here. Oh no, we're not. No, we're not. Planetarium here. Let's check this out. Looter for the size down. This is max level anyways, the shop now, so we can't get anything else out of this. In here. Secret room there. Okay, we can't get through there. Can we open this door though? We might just be able to here now. Ah, come on. No more boxes. We're all teeny tiny now. Sadly, this is not working. That room might actually have to use a crack key for. Bought something by accident. Did not mean to. I just went into this library. Anything we can pick up that gives us one of these question mark boxes rolls deep for us. There you go. We opened up again. Go down a little more. Boom and boom. Do the boxes stay when I leave and enter? I don't remember. If these guys actually brimstone, we need to remember that. Crack key here. We're still going down. There's still more to do. Oh, god damn, look at this. Look at this mess. Right, where's our next cracked key? Back up this way. Okay, the boxes do still stay, which is very, very good for getting more cracked keys. There's a cracked key there, look. Yeah, we have a, a way to generate cracked keys as long as this box is about. I just want to basically outline the perimeter. For some reason, the satisfaction of being able to outline an entire floor is just alluding to me. I like the idea of it. Even though it is just completely and utterly unnecessary. Okay, that is the end here. That is the end. Right, give us some more crack keys, game. 
There you go, that's another one. Thank you. Need to get over to our strawberry. There you go, next one opened up. And next one opened up. So we need the crack key again. Get the outline going all the way around. Holy hell. Beautiful when it gives us the uh, trigger straight away. That's definitely my favourite. Holy hell. Lots of boxes there. Oh my god. This wasn't going so well. There you go. Finally got the trigger and the crack key as well. Lovely. Oop, I hit some spikes there, I think. Where am I? I don't understand where I am right now. Okay, I found myself. <laughs> that was very confusing for a hot minute there. Get a few more boxes in. Got that one as well. Good, good. Almost connected up. We've almost got the full perimeter done. I am losing myself. I have no idea where I am. I'm so tiny and like the coins are so big. Like the size and color of a coin. Very easy to lose track of where I currently am. Good, good. Got the trigger there as well. Again, just completely... Where am I? Completely lost. And that is it. We have lapped. We have made our way around. Right. Not much to do now, but fill it all out. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. Because I am getting so lost on where the hell I am right now. Hellfire is just making everything so much more confusing as well. Thank you, Strawberry. For enabling this nonsense. Missed the strawberry. I walked right past it. Ah, there's an enemy alive in here. I see you, fool. All right. Not much to go now. there. A few rooms we haven't been to here. I don't need to visit every room. I just want to uncover every room. A few over to the left here that we haven't uncovered. That should be dealt with relatively shortly. Especially with the box mageddon going on. The goddamn tear snake is scaring me as well. Okay, we're all out of boxes now. Good, good. It triggered. Longest episode of Isaac I've ever done. <laughs> like I said, I thought it was like an hour to do this. 
Things got out of hand. Things got them got out of hand. Oh wait, I need a crack key here. Don't have one in this room. I might be able to generate one in this room though. Come on, crack key, where are you at? Come on, crack key. There you are. Thank you. Crack. My berry. I'm curious to see what happens with the pillars, like, once you get to the point where you no longer have any uh, rooms to go to. Another room we need to trigger it. Holy hell. There's a crack key as well. Pick that up real quick. Me being small as well it makes it so much harder to pick up all this money too. Very annoying. There we go. We got it. Okay, we're missing one up over here and to the left and one up directly here. Missing a few here actually. Let's do this path first. The room I just kind of leave to sort itself out. Okay, we, we got the trigger here apparently. I didn't even notice. Damn it, no box that time. This one I might need a crack key for. Oh no, doesn't matter. You got it. Come on, strawberry. There's three boxes, wow. You're gonna jump on me, you big shit. Okay, we are nearly done. <laughs> we are nearly done. This room's just a one that we can kill. This room we need to do some shenanigans in. That's a box, good, good. <laughs> this is just such nonsense, I love it. Grab another crack key there, just to make this a little easier. There's still another floor we've got to do before we end this run too. It's just, this is just very satisfying and methodical. I enjoy it. Open the damn door. Open the damn door. You know you want to. There's a crack key there anyway, just do it with that. Cracked key. Where are we at now? This room's fine as it is. You gotta go. In this room and up this here, which we need to grab our strawberry. One second, keep it going. Lovely, the dime helps us out there. This one's open now. Oh, strawberry's there. Shit, 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 shit. shit. Get, it, get it, get it, get it. Let's get the strawberry quick. I feel like I'm playing Celeste. This room did not work out the way I wanted it to. Okay, I got two crack keys out of that. So this one up here we can't do. This one down here we can though. Where's my strawberry at? I didn't get one this room apparently. A bit upsetting. 
Is that rude? Yeah, nothing here either. It looks like we've done it, you know. I think I think the rest of these rooms we, we, we can't actually do. Although we never found a second ultra secret room, I don't think. That's somewhere, I guess. Unless that item just isn't working right now. Right, um quickly just go down here and check these ones. So uh, this one we can't do. There's two more just down here, which I don't think we can do. No, we can't. A few more spaces over here. I reckon also don't work. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. Okay, I think we've done it, boys. I think we have red roomed an entire floor. Which is, uh... Quite a feat. <laughs> That's quite something. Right, let's air a room out of here. This has been quite something. We're not going to do it again on the next floor, do not worry. <laughs> Although, now that I think about it... If I can find a way to generate money in this room, I'm pretty sure I can open this door. Wait a minute. If I bomb myself, let me try this. Okay. That didn't work at all. Oh, no, it did work. I guess that didn't work at all. It did work. Good, good. Yeah, open the door. Nice. I was gonna say, I was gonna say it didn't work at all because I accidentally fucking, like, couldn't find myself. I went invisible again, but didn't matter too much. Also, one good thing about getting hair a lot is we just generate so many familiars. Dude keeps hitting, hitting me. I don't even know who this enemy is. Use these to, to heal up. I don't want to die on this run. That'd be stupid. Right. just We're just looking to find the boss here. Hellfire, you absolute craziness. I can't fucking see myself. Got a mini boss room here. What the hell? How did I get that item over there? stuff. Quickly open up all of these to get my health back real quick. Nugget bombs sadly cannot have. Okay. Back through we go. We just don't know what's going on right now, do we? This guy always gets me, so let's chuck it sad bomb at him while he goes uninvincible, but no, he's just going to stay invincible because that's what he does. Got a lot more fire rate there. I like that. Hellfire, can you just let me kill things at a normal speed, please? Stop making them invincible. Frustrating me. I don't really need this nonsense. Here's our boss. Good, good. Don't have to piss around for ages now. This could be quite something. Hellfire, you go off. This is Hellfire, people. This item is balanced. <laughs> the chances for it to occur... Like, the item's meant to be good, I get that. But the chances for it to occur are way too high. <laughs> like, astronomically high. Right, 
Right, that's done. Right, get up to 99 money real quick, just to make sure that we're all good. There you go. Right. Wait, is that a luck penny? I will take a luck penny if there's one going. Oh, it's a golden penny. Ugh. I don't care about that. Righty ho then. Back, back, back we go. This has been truly something. Okay. Just setting up a little con contingency plan back there. <laughs> That's just a, a just-in-case area. I, I genuinely can't see myself for the most part here. I'm so small. Hellfire's not going to matter too much on this fight, apart from that one wave where all four of the horsemen spawn at once. Then it'll probably matter quite a bit. Okay, it's going to matter here too. <laughs> Okay, the, the other horseman just got murdered by the beam. Oh, I did get hit there. Contingency plan, activate. It's so impossibly difficult to see where the fuck I am right now. Like, at no time do I know exactly where I am. Basically, the way that I'm figuring out where I am is from the bullets I fire. From the tears. That's pretty much it. Everything else is a mystery. Get away from me with your big dumb hand. Get them out, the, out of your face. I need to be able to hit you. And you're kind of rude. Also, all this poop that my tears keep generating. Not a fan of that. That's really getting in my way. Okay. I know, big fella. I know. Don't know what happened to those bombs. Don't know where they are. Don't know where they've gone. Okay, being small should make this easier. Not being able to see makes it significantly harder. Also, we're not actually killing him that quick. Do you know, if my snake could, like, fucking go away and start attacking him rather than just slinking over my body over and over again, it would be hel helpful because it's distracting as shit. I might be small enough to be underneath these tiers, you know. Because they are, yeah, they have a bit of height to them. I'm actually fine. For these ones in particular. It won't be like the fire. The fire will still hit me. Thank you, Snake, for getting out my face for once. What about these ones? These ones have a bit of height to them as well. Okay, I'm fine on these ones as well. Nice. Pluto is very good against Mega Satan. Stand close enough to him and you're basically fine. generating infinite money in front of his face. Well then, that was quite the run. Uh, almost two hours in length. That was a very mega run. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.